Good, how are you? Good, man, or should I call you champion? Champ? Now, yeah. now does champ sound different now? Well, you know how they always say champ? Everyone says champ. Nah, I mean, it ain't shit. Y'all can call me the same shit for real, for real. I don't, I don't really care. So, uh, so how's everything? Like, has the city embraced you? Yeah, for sure. As like a champ? Your peoples? Hell yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So talk to me, man. Um, it was a great performance, 12th round KO. Um, I mean, you haven't really spoke a little bit about it, but talk to me. I mean, is it for real? Do you, do, does it feel real? Yeah, it feel real. Um, shit, and that was just about fighting for more belts. I don't even, you feel me? Like, what's done is done already. I don't, I ain't like caught up in the moment still. I'm, I'm ready for what's next. That's what you like. 15 fights in, 25 years old, um, and already a champion. Was that already, was that like something that was like, all right, that's going to be off the bucket list around that age? Yeah, I, I kind of like, like when I first turned pro, I kind of expected to be like world champ before that, like, all that, you feel me? Like before 25, kind of like expected to be world champ around like 23 or something like that, 22, 23, but COVID happened, and then, you know, a couple other things happened. So, we got it though. We got it done though. So, yeah. You went through a lot of diversity, adversity in the fight. You know, you had a big gash on your eye. I see that you it's already healed up. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know what I mean? You was, uh, did you feel like you was losing the fight? Nah, I ain't feel like, I, I ain't really, I wasn't really paying attention to like, whether if I was winning rounds and any of that, I was just focused on getting the getting the job done. Like at a certain point in time, I just wanted to stop them. I I wasn't worried about the scorecards. I was just my plan on was you know getting them out of there. Right, right. Um, now was that the game plan that you and Anthony had as far as like trying to get him out of there, or was because it seemed like he was very assertive that you know you you knew that you guys were the B side in this fight and you had to do a little bit more. No, nah, it wasn't no game plan to get him out of there. It just happened, like, I think after he hit me with, like, a good shot, that's when I, I just put it in my head, like, oh, I'm going to fuck him up now. I'm going to stop him. Right. Did you did you feel like he was um as tricky as he was, or? No, nah, I, I felt like he, he was better than what I expected. I felt, like, yeah, I felt like he was, yeah, like, he was more tricky, for sure, yeah. So, um... As far as all your performances, like, what would you label that one as, as far as grading-wise? Nah, I mean, as far as, like, um, my performance on, on my behalf, I feel like that was, it wasn't my best. But, like, as far as, like, uh, the moment-wise, I'd say, like, that's number one, for sure. Because you're closing up. You're doing what you have to do at the moment of time, being clutch. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> Yeah, because sometimes everybody, be, they do so good, and then at that moment that you need to be perfect, you just, you don't come through, you know? It's like shooting the three when you open and you miss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, I definitely can't be clutch, though, for sure. So, yo, a lot of talks ever since you won. Um, I see that what they said, Nick Bolden, is something that you guys are, are looking looking at but then also on twitter i've seen that you want a little bit of foster yeah i don't know what i don't know what, what what's going on right now just you know i'm just waiting waiting on the car to see what's going on all right that, that's really cliche like you gotta <laughs> like come on like you gotta give me more than that i mean like what all right so what possessed you to text what you text on twitter how about that <laughs> I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to fight uh, uh, Foster. He don't want to fight me though. So you wanna? You don't? He? You don't think that he wants to fight you? I don't think so. Why you feel that way? His energy's not. It's just not like you feel me. It's just his energy's just not coming off like he want to fight me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, did you call him out? Everybody seen that. 
<laughs> he goes, everybody see that. First thing I did when I won the boat. Right. So, damn, you don't you don't think he'll fight you? I don't know, man. I mean, the fighter, he should he should want to fight me. You feel me? I got a I got a name. You feel me? I got. I got a belt at, at a smaller weight class. You already fought somebody at a smaller weight class who had a belt. You feel me? So he should, he should feel like it should be an easy fight for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not just shut me up and come and just beat me? Make it an easy fight. You feel me? That's all. Do you, do you see something in that matchup that you, you, you calling him out per, per se? What you mean? Like, see something in it, like, like I mean, out of all the hundred and thirty champions, I called out everybody. I called out every champion. Oh, he just was the oh, one who got in his feelings. Oh, okay. What What did he say? He said I was fool. I ain't like fool. You didn't yeah. like that? Nah, cause don't even play with me like that. Mm. Cause I mean, I seen you was on a live with Lamont. Um. And it doesn't seem like that is a fight that I don't know. I mean, you friends fight each other. You guys would probably want to see the the bag, but I mean, I interviewed him. You know, he I don't know. You, you guys seem like you have a friendship. Yeah, yeah. The, my, that's my boy. That's my boy. I seen the little. Uh, I seen the interview that y'all did too. Right. Yeah. So it's like, at the end of the day, is that is that that's not something. Is that something that could be worked out? I mean, is that something that you think is not big enough yet? What What you think? Like, because I remember you saying before even capturing this title, you said you wanted to move up. But now also hearing that what what Saudi wants are, is interested in that Nick Bolden fight with you. I don't know. Bro. I'm just. I'm is just, it twenty six or is it thirty? Like, what is it? I'm. I'm wherever the. The most money I'm gonna get at. Feel me? Uh, the more money is at 130, I'm gonna go to 130. The more money at 126, you feel me? I'll stay for a, for an extra fight. What fight do you want the most? The Shaki Foster. He the one who who responded and talking. We can build it up. You feel me? So yeah, and it, it would be better for me because I don't gotta keep making 126. I'd rather go up to 130 and go get that WBC belt. Now, it's like when you, because you you said that it's like, I want to fight him. You want to, you want him, but more is it more because of the feelings or because of the belt? Because of what he said, or or because of the belt? It's the belt. Because I, I don't mean, know if that makes the most money for you, does it? I don't know. Probably, probably not. I don't. I really don't know. It's the belt. Is because he was he's the only one who responded for real, for real. Like and was in his feelings, and he just keep talking on on social media. So he feeding into everything that I'm that I'm throwing out there. Like he take like he taking the bait every time I I do something to say something. He responds. So you feel me? How does that fight turn out? That considering he, he considering he says that your food, you don't like that. How do you think that fight turns out? He just gonna have to show me like. I ain't like I ain't got to say it. like of of course I'm gonna say I'm gonna win but you feel me he's just gonna have to he's gonna have to show me what he whatever he feel he gonna have to show me that that's what it is you feel me that's all mm. like what do you think about his last performance? down inside he know he know for sure like deep down inside he knows, he knows. he knows that you're not food he know that's what I'm gonna say like he know deep down inside he know. Mm. Mm. I like that fight. I like I that fight. I do too. I think it's good. I think it's good for the one thirty pound division. I feel like the one thirty pound division is a little boring for now. So for sure. I think that's going to you know spark some shit up. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I think I think now knowing that you went to top rank for that fight, uh was that was that something that you was like oh, nervous about at all? You were just like, I don't care about the politics. I wasn't thinking about that shit. Like I got asked that question a lot before the fight. Like 
I can say the same thing. I, I can only control shit that I got control over. And clearly I had control over the situation. I took it into my hands and did what I had to do to get the dub. The dub. So talk about, like, obviously now we see more clips of the corner with you and Coach Anthony. I don't know if you've been seeing a lot of those clips. Um, I was in the fight, yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, but you like you know what I'm saying now you've seen the clips like it's it's being played over and over and over. I mean, do you do you think that um at that moment of time did you feel like it was like all right, that was the best thing that needed to be said at the time? I mean, was it a did you take it more of as a motivation? Was it more like a um that the path to victory? I mean, what what was going through your mind as far as feeding into the information that uh Anthony was telling you? I think it was good. It was good information for sure. Like he, he did what he was supposed to do. He did his. He was doing his job. You feel me? Um. He, you know, but in my in the, during the fight, I already had it in my head what I was doing. So you feel me? But what he was saying, like I was still taking heed to it. But I was so locked in. You feel me? So like, kind of like a lot of stuff. I ain't gonna say a lot of stuff, but like some stuff. Like I was just like, I, I, I. But when I get up. I know what I'm about to go in there and go do. You feel me? And, and it's the same thing even with sparring. Like they, like they was telling Tim Bradley, like in sparring and shit. Like sometimes in sparring, because Tim Bradley asked like if I had dog in me and shit, and they basically was like saying like sometimes in sparring, like we got to tell him not to, you know, you know, try to you know walk guys down and bang and shoot dog and stuff like that. So like that's kind of what it was like, like when I was like in a fight. But I, I was hearing like what he was saying and stuff. And then it's, it's times like they went, they was asking me to do things like that and stuff, but it was like I know my body, like my body wasn't feeling like they wanted me to put combinations together, right? But I know if I'm gonna put combinations together, I'm just gonna go and make myself more tired, leave, leave myself open for for more punches to come through, get countered, things like that. And like my my, you feel me? Like my body wasn't feeling like how I needed it to feel, so it was like. I know I gotta. When I throw these shots, I gotta make sure these things like he feel these and they gotta count. You feel me? I need to make sure I'm timing shit perfectly. So when I would throw, I was like, all right. So when you watch the fight, you see like he was throwing a lot of punches and I was catching a lot. And I, it was times I, I wasn't throwing back, but that's because I'm waiting on the perfect moment for for myself to go so I can catch him with a good shot and, and, and hurt him and break him down like a lot of the shots I was throwing like body shots the body shots I was throwing I was making sure like I was placing them at the right time so he feel him and like near rounds come through you see him breaking down and it took a toll on him to, to, towards the end of the fight you feel me so it was just like I heard what they were saying what they wanted me to do but I still had to you know be smart and you know have my own IQ in there and do what I had to do so I can, so we can walk away with the victory talking to the homies, talking to the people that know boxing around you and stuff, talking about that that performance. I mean, I've talking to people; they think it's like a classic type of a performance. What have people talked to you about the performance like? It was the same, the same, same thing. Uh, it was a classic. A lot of people got inspired by it. A lot of people said they got emotional by it and, and things like that. It was just like a. A lot of people just said the the. The same things pretty much and uh it's good feedback everything was pretty much good feedback you got your you know your haters on the comments and stuff like that i'll be seeing those too like uh, you got not lucky or the fight shouldn't have been stopped shit like that but it's like it's not everything you know what i'm mean? saying people gonna feel how they want to feel about it people got different opinions i don't i really don't care bro i just i do what i do now you talk about emotional i mean how about the emotions when you know you won like you, you could clearly see you as very emotional. Yeah. Why? Why was what was going through your mind? Like as far as like you knew that everything was gonna change from here on and out. Yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of like just how the fight played out. I had to go through a lot in the fight, and then just like you know things from the, like the past that I had to go through and overcome. So it was just like, it was a lot of everything for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, man, well, like I said, salute to you on that performance, man, because it was. Now, uh, 
you win and we can see in your phone that Shakur calls you right away. Can mm -hmm. you even hear what he's saying? Yeah. It was loud as hell. I just heard like hella screaming in the back, hella yelling. And Corey was basically saying like, um, I'm so fucking proud of you, bro. Like, you feel me? Like they was just real happy. It was him and Zay, they was in the background and stuff. So it was like, it was cool, you feel me? They been, they been there through the whole camp to see how hard I was working. And you know, they was there through the, through the tough days, through the good days and all that. So it was, you know, they was happy for me. So, you know, talking to Coach Anthony, you know, he said that, you know, since, you you know, you've been, you knew you added him into the camp. You, is that something that you always do? Just before your fights, you go and train with Shakur and out there in, in Houston? No, I started, I started doing that the same time I brought uh, Coach Anthony into the camp. So it was like, 